Hey guys, we're going to go over a real quick introduction and service technique for some of the older drives. I did a lot of research. I couldn't find a whole lot of information about it. So I practically had to destroy one of my other drives just to kind of make some progress to get one of these older drives working. So I'm going to do more than show you how to wash it with a Q-tip. Uh, I think that's the most ridiculous thing when you when you go to look for how to repair a drive and they say, well, just hose it down and you're good to, good to go. This drive here is 1982. It's a, I believe it's a uh, single-sided double density, and I am correct. You can tell by the heads already. And I've done some steps to remove this top control board. Uh, point out a few things that you need to be checking when you're when you're servicing or trying to repair these drives. There's some key parts that will cause the floppies to fail. Obviously, if you hear any crunching or any any really loud robotic noises while the drive is operating. You're going to have issues with this track system, which they talk about oiling. If you continue to have those issues, there's a good chance this drive was set in the top of a system where the heat damaged the motor. And unfortunately, when you get a lot of heat into the motor system and the mechanisms in here, you're not going to be able to repair that on your own without additional parts. So I'm not going to go into that. I don't have the resources to do that but I am going to continue to go to the next steps because if you have a, a fairly quiet drive and it seems to function okay but it's still not reading floppies uh, key indicators you want to see is you want to see this stepping motor moving while uh, it's trying to read the drive you also want to hear that me metallic click at, at track zero and I'll see if I can get it to do it here that metallic click is critical uh, that tells the motor to stop trying to force the uh, mechanism back. Uh, if it doesn't stop, you can hear a lot of banging, uh, repetitive clanking from the mechanics. Now, this wheel here, tied to the ribbon underneath, should move pretty f freely, so your oil points are definitely going to be this rail, and also this bolt apparatus here, and you definitely want to have a nice smooth transition here. I don't recommend putting any oil here because if you get it on this belt, you're going to have problems. But while we're un under here, I want to show you a mechanism that they don't cover that's critical to the operation. This square hole has a screw in it that adjusts a, uh, uh, a sensor that receives light. And that's the part that I didn't know, couldn't find any information on. But we'll talk about that here on top. So, most floppies have an index hole, and that index hole is a small tiny hole that spins around as the drive is functioning. This portion of the drive sends light through that hole and gets received by the bottom. And if they're not in sync, or if they can't see each other because of crust or dirtiness or out of alignment, then you're not going to get a good read. So, make sure that you've taken this portion off if you're if you've tried everything it's still not reading check for crust on that LED light clean that light as much as possible clean the bottom and then begin your adventure in adjusting this this one here is pretty much planetary on top but it is adjustable underneath so you can loosen the screws a little bit and move them back and forth make sure you put some kind of Loctite or, or some glue on it once you have it aligned uh, because heat will cause it to expand and contract and cause it to move again so that is a critical piece that I did not get information on and it sets up the timing for the disk speed there's some utilities you can check these drives should run at around 300 rpm they shouldn't be running 250 or 230 they have to be a really near 300 in order for the timing to synchronize with the head read write so if that's not in sync, then this and that's will one never critical work. part I wanted to cover so that you guys understand what, what all needs to be serviced. Also, you, you definitely want to clean that head, um, check for the felt pad, make sure the felt pad is present, and um, that really much covers what you can do mechanically on the device. Um, if you're missing this key portion, you can interchange them for the most part as long as the bolts line up. You can do some modifications if necessary. Usually they take the same voltage, but uh, that's one step that's critical. And if you don't know how to service it, you'll never get these drives working again. And most people just say hose it down and throw away. But unfortunately, these things are rare. And the more we throw away, the less we'll be able to recover those floppies. That's all I had to say. Thanks.